learners another Saturday session for you if you picked up message I posted in our um, art group I'm delighted to let you know that thanks to John a happy place uh, we are able to deliver those sessions online through the August um, so you can enjoy them and I will try to make them the way you can involve your family and especially children and teenagers if you wish to and this week our first kind of summer um, session um, which is what I like to call illusion portraits very simple activity all you need is just paper images and scissors glue stick um, and you can work in color black and white full figure or just portrait um, in variety of ways I explained that in my video so have fun and I hope you enjoy the session bye bye Okay, let's get started. Um, there are many ways you can go about this project and I would encourage you to try different ways. Um, if you decide to involve children, again, uh, all of you may decide to do it slightly differently. So I will show you different ways of doing it and the best pictures to pick up for the project. Then I will demonstrate one way, um, but again, you do it your way. Um, so we could be working just with faces Let's remove that one for a while and try to pick up faces that kind of a similar um, size. They don't have to ideally be um, um, matched, but something that can kind of overlap because what we're working here is the overlap of images. One image, uh, you uh, the first way of doing it is having one image uh, full on, on your page and then the second image cut into pieces now it could be horizontal it could be vertical and then glue those pieces on top of the first image that will create the illusion of one being slightly visible through the first one and it's really interesting visual effect it it would be probably different depending on if you do it horizontally or vertically uh, will bring different um, elements of the first image to be visible as well as it will um, change the way the top image is corresponding where, with the one underneath. Another option is to work with, um, again, portrait that is taken more um, from a distance and includes more body um, part. Um, and again, if you could find something that is kind of similar, so has the part of the body, neck um, and chest, and then do similar thing. Also working with one that's in color and one that's in black and white gives you really good uh, results. Couldn't find any in black and white, so what I'm doing, I'm working with two which are similar size in color. This one's is already split. I've just found it this way. It was probably something I used for another project. Um, you can also dismantle both images. So cut them into pieces horizontally or vertically, um, both of them, and then just glue on top of each other. So I will try, because this one is already dismantled. That's my piece of paper. I think this one I'm just going to divide into big um, vertical chunks and this one's going to go horizontally on top of it and it'll be quite interesting because this one's got quite bold colors um, and the first one is not so colorful. Um, I'm going to remove bits of the background which I don't want to include. It's up to you how much you want background there. I like those ones, so I'll leave it. Now I'm going to cut it into bigger chunks. And 
to separate them, creating those wide gaps. You don't always have to use the scissors and I will combine both cut and torn pieces in this face. Sometimes you can move them slightly to create more um, distortion effect. Okay, and to be honest, I never really know how to play with the bottom one till I start putting my one at the front. So I'm not gluing it directly on page. I'm, I'm just waiting for this one to see how they correspond with each other. I'm cutting this one slightly smaller pieces. The middle section is going to be smaller pieces and then the bottom and um, sorry top of the head and bottom of the head I will leave um, a bit bigger I'm gonna try now. So now that becomes interesting because this is where the glasses area was. So my, the top image had glasses, this one doesn't. So by creating the gap, I can get the eyes of the first model visible. Okay, we can now, it's about what I said before, deciding how close and how far away you want those shapes. So this is where you combine one in um, one image in uh, vertical, one horizontal, another way around. If you decide to combine both that have, that have the same position of the cut, they unify more. This one unifies less. So let me, I quite like that. Let me glue this one to the page. And then I also show you one that is unified um, by making cuts in the same direction. So here I wanted to show you two examples. The first one you've seen me starting, I decided not to use the top part, of, like those lines being visible in fuller face. So that's how it ended. And then I worked with the full figure, two figures in black and white, and used exactly the same principle, just the one direction of the cut for both figures which is from top to bottom and that gives me quite interesting results as well so have a go many ways to do it you can involve other members of family all you need is just glue stick paper magazines and scissors have fun